Hey guys, it's me Chan Dragon and today I will do another fun discussion and this time what Kafka. So this is actually more like my review of thing after using Kafka and we will discuss like some of the community and even content creators some of them say that actually pulling Kafka it's for its trap. So all of us like Kafka ever say we will have trouble they say because they say Kafka it's not future proof. So I will give my honest opinion in here like and my review and like everything until almost two weeks i guess is it true or not so let's find out all right the first problem that they say that kafka is basically um niche character they say yeah i kind of agree because kafka is basically playing in dot right and dot is very different than what we say traditional dps because dot is usually that we build is around effect hit rate attack and speed we don't even need crit rate crit damage but sale like the traditional dps that very straightforward like blade it's just like need crit rate crit damage it's very straightforward so kafka it's kind of different treatment so that's also her team her teams that are like around her is that want to be another dot because she is basically her main job is enabler as a dot so it's different that um, sambo that pure just dot but kafka have dot plus enable the other team dot so because of they kind of want more dot and putting more dot team it's basically good for her so it's kind of building team around her is kind of different if you want to get the best performance of kafka itself but most of the people only kind of concern or only focus that oh yeah because kafka main talents about dot we just hold we just have to go in dot all the time but they forgot that some of the part that kafka ultimate is actually pretty strong though so even though you decide to not use in the dot team she's still pretty decent though because her power is already good at the base though so basically if you want to try let's say um kafka and you can pair with asta and you pair with tingyun or bronya but i prefer tingyun and then one healer or like chip part something like that or maybe future fushuan then kafka is still able to stand i believe by herself though because her damage is pretty strong you just it's just probably the main problem that you might need just increase until level 10 though so just make like pure like kind of strong by raw power itself without relying other team dot so because of that her power also strong she also have option to not play in dot and i feel it's also pretty flexible though so later if they say like oh kafka dot team probably become weaker then i mean it's, it should be no problem just because i already say kafka is already strong by it herself then we can just make another new team and probably if character in the future can benefit also from kafka then we make like just solo dot by kafka itself that and probably another character that can help in the future that we still don't know then there's still a lot of way for us to not only rely on this like dot team on her niche though she so, yeah, still have like another option because i believe kafka is pretty flexible though so if you ask me again is it true or not it's partial true because yeah if you want of course to get the best performance is kinda niche because you have to build special treatment but if you decide to not to do that and if if in the end later the ot team become weaker then it doesn't matter because she is already strong by herself we can just make another different team that can be works again though just because basically her like power is basically strong and the second problem that they say enemy later become stronger especially in moc and later probably they will have the enemy that they say will resist into dot though so they will not kind of take any damage from dot so my take in here i find like okay that that's actually a smart like how for like how you can see like the future like try to predict but in the end if you say like that i mean is it kind of obvious that the enemy later becomes stronger for this kind type of game and if you say later the enemy will resist in dot i mean i think other character also will also get the same treatment though that means in the future later we will have the enemy resist probably like 70 percent of like or even like 90 percent of fire like ice quantum and something like that it's 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 makes no different with even dot though because why they only want to make enemy that resist to dot i think they will make another enemy also that resist to another element not just in dot so so i felt this kind of thinking is a bit weird i feel like 
I don't know, I sometimes a little bit amazed with how uh, the community thinks that I don't know, they try probably just to make one of character looks bad probably I but I kinda understand also. I know there's like rumor around that people fighting about Jingwen and Kafka and they say Kafka is better so probably some of them just fighting and they start to make this kind of statement though. But in the end I feel like this kind of problem is not only faced by Kafka, it later will be faced by another like old character like Sele, Blade and other stuff, something like that. Because of course, in the future they want to make a new character, right? They want to sell in the new character and also their gimmick, right? So of course they will make like give us like mindset that oh we kind of need this future character though just because probably it will make easier or something like that. it's probably it's very classic gacha games though that you should not kind of worry just because it's basically the nature of gacha game they will selling like makes the character looks good on that certain period and after that they will make create the problem so later the old character that you feel that oh it cannot works anymore or it's not as good like before then we decide to pull the new character that's basically how gacha game works and lastly this is will conclude everything they say kafka is not future proof just because they say kafka improvement is very dependent on the ot characters and they say even this one that i'm very confused probably i don't know where they come like they already act like fortune teller they say that hoyofers tend to not like to release the ot characters though they say like Hoyofers tend to like to just release like traditional DPS or like traditional like character like just straightforward like, so, like Tingyun just buffing or like Sela just true like main DPS straightforward like they don't like to release this type of character they say like they don't really like Hoyofers don't like it I feel like how you have this kind of thinking though that's so weird I don't understand sometimes of the community sometimes feels so impressive so yeah, although some of the statement is pretty funny, some of them is pretty true that I agree. Which is, yeah, they say that the Kafka improvement depends on the LT character. Yeah, that's actually pretty true though. Just because I already say, yeah, Kafka can do solo, like, team without, like, another, another DOT character. But of course, the best team of Kafka is still in DOT characters though. That, that means in order for Kafka to get, like, major step up or major buff is that she really need another DOT character though just because we already expect that in the future probably enemy becomes stronger than Sampo and Luca uh, probably will be kinda dethroned a little bit so become weaker so can be even not relevant though so because of that in order to make Kafka DOT even looks better she really need even the best that another 5 star DOT though that as strong as Kafka but different role because Kafka is enabler probably it's just like pure like offensive in just DOT so Kafka later just enable everything and just explode it at once so it just become like very very strong in the end though and Kafka DOT team become like even better and we can get be getting buff and can be even relevant for fighting in the future content of course the only thing that I already say I still confused why they say Hoyo first tend to not like to release the DOT type of character though because in fact I saw although it's not a 4 5 star there's the new 4 star what we I yeah I believe that's the name her kid according to the like the past rumor they say she's about DOT burn type of character though so she also not a DOT though I don't think Hoyo Force will totally abandon about DOT after Kafka because Green Ivan is one of the examples that although she's 4 star still are around like DOT though if the kid turn out to be true so I don't think they will abandon. I don't know why they feel so pessimistic. They say like, okay, like Hoyo first don't want to release another like DOT characters. I think they have like sentiment to hate Kafka so much or probably the war between Jingyuan and Kafka in here. So the committee just already state something weird stuff. So in the end, I say if you really, really already have Kafka and you feel regret, I don't think you should not regret. I feel Kafka is pretty solid character. She's pretty even already see flexible from what I try to play. Of course the best one in DOT, I tried to pair with Tinyun and other like character as a solo run for the lightning team. She pretty much okay though. It's pretty impressive because I cannot like really I don't really expect that her like ultimately is surely pretty strong. So I think the the main a little bit difference if you want to play like Kafka in solo, just focus like to get more energy or maybe makes more speed so she can get more energy so she can trigger more ultimate though. 
So in the end, I think Kafka is not really kind of very trap character though. She is totally fine. I I don't think she is of course super super like you have to pull like. I think as like kind of Stella. I think Stella is another type of like. I think it's a little bit too strong, but. Kafka at least already solid for me. It's I think it's very solid type of character though, and like you don't really need to compare to Jingwen because she is also good. Jingwen also good though. Why you don't kind of want to fight between each other though? And I find like Kafka playing style also quite flexible. I already say you can play both of them. And if you still kind of skeptical or don't want to pull Kafka just because you heard this kind of stuff that they say Kafka is bad, blah blah blah. I mean, just pull though. I don't think you will have that much trouble. Kafka is pretty much solid unit. Her her like base is basically pretty good though. So in the end, I say I'm pretty satisfied with Kafka though, and I don't really even scared with the future of Kafka. I believe Kafka future is pretty okay. I don't think it would be super super bad. Even they decide to not release like the like any DOT character, I believe she can survive even though. Just because I already say her bird, uh, her ultimate is pretty strong, her damage by itself is actually pretty strong, so you don't have to worry though. So pretty much that's it though for my Kafka review and kinda answer all the true or not like some of the weird stuff from the community they say about Kafka, the bad stuff with Kafka. So yeah, if you like this kind of video, feel free to subscribe button and like and see you next time. Bye bye!